Hi, welcome to the second in our series of Make It videos. This week we'll be making a home for some of my favourite animals, frogs and toads. You'll be pleased to hear that as well as being the most amazing creatures to watch, they're also a gardener's best friend, eating the slugs, snails and other creatures that like to feast on your plants. This frog and toad hall will provide them with a cool, shady place to rest and hide away. To make your toad hall you'll need a terracotta flower pot. It does need to be terracotta because a plastic one will overheat inside. A hammer and some protective eyewear to create the entrance. You can also use a drill to help with this, but it isn't essential. Some sandpaper or a metal file in case you need to file down any sharp edges. You may not need to do this. A ruler or tape measure to check that the entrance is big enough for the toad to come in and out. And something to decorate your toad hall. You could use paint or felt pens or even a glue gun to stick some decorations on. We'll first need to create an entrance so that frogs and toads can get in and out. To do this you can simply tap out the entrance using a hammer. Make sure you wear some eye protection just in case any small fragments fly off. For a neater looking entrance you could drill holes in an arc shape before tapping out. This will create a smoother edge, but it isn't essential. If this has produced any sharp bits, just file these down using sandpaper or a metal file. Just check that the entrance is at least 10 centimetres or 4 inches wide and 7 centimetres or 3 inches high. I've seen some very fat toads. Then repeat this on the other side to provide another way in and out so the creatures can easily escape if they feel threatened. And then finally for the fun part, you can decorate your toad hall however you like. I've painted it, but you could stick bits on, you might want to make it camouflage to blend in with the natural environment, or you might want to paint on some pictures that you think the animals will love. It's really up to you. choosing where to put your toad hall, choose a location that doesn't get too much sun, that is near to your pond if you have one. If you made a mini pond last week, a location nearby would be perfect. But don't worry if you don't have a pond, because you can still encourage frogs and toads into your garden. Ideally, your toad hall will sit on soil or bare ground, or here I'm using an area of damp moss. Before you place it down, if you've got some, you could put some damp leaves. The frogs and toads will absolutely love this. But don't worry if you haven't, it's not essential. And that's it. Sit back, relax and wait for the frogs and toads to arrive. Thanks for joining us for this week's Make It video. I hope you enjoyed making your toad haul. Next week we'll be making a Lego bird table to encourage more birds into your area. I look forward to seeing you then.